Yo to you everyone, and welcome back to Satisfactory. Today we're going to look at some tricks to using foundations as walls for your factories. I've been using foundations a good amount in my current water facility build, and I've learned some advantages of using them instead of the actual walls in the game. I'm not saying replace all your current walls with foundations, but definitely mixing up can make for some very cool looks. Let's get into it. First advantage of using foundations for walls is that you can do a lot of different variations on looks for your factories. Um, you can see here I'm using kind of foundations to break up this wall a little bit. On top of that, I've also got this inlet here on the foundation of this building, and even some decorative beams inside these foundations. So using the foundation as the exterior, you can kind of break up your look and create some really cool things. My first trick that I've figured out when using foundations for walls is that you can use the street lights, as you can see here, as kind of like a wall mounted light. You can hide most of the, the light behind it and you can mount it and it gives a cool little like, highlight to the wall, which can make some really cool industrial looks. I'll show you how I did that. If I get rid of these two foundations here real quick, you can see that it's actually based off this foundation. And to make it um, mounted like that, is that you go from the center line and you go two notches back. So if I wanted to add one here, go to the center line, Two placements back and we go and look once it's made it looks like it's kind of mounted to the wall you could even go one more back than that go three instead if you want it kind of closer to the wall so that's also an option i kind of like them out a little bit more because it casts more light but that's completely up to you but yeah, using the foundations allows you to hide those a little bit so you can kind of create these cool wall mounted lights my next trick is actually somewhat related to the lights, but as you notice, once I delete this foundation, is that I use it to hide power lines in. So if we go up to where this is connected, you can see I have a power connector up here that then um, goes along the ceiling here to connect up all these lights to power. Not only can you hide lights behind foundations, you can hide your power lines too. And if you're like me and don't like power lines being run everywhere, it gives you a really convenient way to be able to hide them. My last trick, might be a little controversial for some, but I'm curious to hear your guys' thoughts on it. But I've been using the foundations to hide conveyor belts as well. And then I use mergers or splitters, as you can see here, as kind of conveyor walls in a way. It allows me to hide it. And yes, it does clip, hence the controversial point. Um, I am clipping conveyor belts through walls, but it allows me to hide conveyors a little bit more. It also gives you more freedom on where the conveyor belt meets the wall. Um, both of these are in the center, but so there's obviously a center conveyor wall, but you can obviously, anywhere you can place a merger along a, a foundation here, you can place an outlet. So to get that catarium ore from over there into these refineries over here, I just clip it through the foundation. It makes a cool little little outlet here. But yeah, I know this is controversial for some due to clipping rules and, you know, pseudo clipping rules that people have. But I have found this to be actually a really cool way to kind of keep the clean look of a factory if that's what you're looking for. But yeah, that's my tips for using foundations as walls. I've actually started using it on this current build you're looking at right now. I have been streaming this build, so if you want to kind of stop on by sometime and see how this factory is progressing, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you have any other tips for using foundations as walls, I'd love to hear them because, yeah, it, it opens up a lot of cool decoration possibilities and keeping your factories looking clean. That's all for me for now. I'll see you in the next one.